What is the consequences of two teenagers in the back seat of a car in the heat of passion getting ready to make love? I'm talking about a boy and a girl, by the way. It's ironic that I have to mention that. And I pervert it, twist it, sick, demented society. But I'm talking about male and female, okay? That's the only way you can actually get pregnant. Uh, anyway, but it's a shame I even have to mention that. But what are the consequences? Two people in the back seat of a car in the heat of passion. Well, the consequences is an unwanted pregnancy. A child born into the world that is not loved, not wanted, not cared for, not appreciated, not special, as children should be. How does this affect your society? Well, the child grows up unable to trust anyone, often hateful, misunderstood, and, hey, who knows, ends up killing others. Yeah, let's not kid ourselves. I mean, when we talk about the consequences of your and mine, decision-making. Good decisions, bad decisions. Good decisions we can deal with. But, you know, those bad decisions and the consequences of those bad decisions can be devastating. Now, what if God would abort all unwanted pregnancy? You know, well, would we ever learn to live responsibly if God did that? God refuses to change the consequences of our decision making. You see, God created us a free moral agent with the ability to choose right and wrong. In fact, we were, some people think that we were created with a, a sin nature. I don't really believe that. I think we were created neutral. Neutral with the capacity to go in either direction, the direction of good, the, the direction of evil. And it's a choice. And God said, choose, you know, choose you this day. It was uh, the tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And he wanted us to choose. And that freedom of choice is something that God will never take away. Now, isn't that good? Now, let me ask you a question. Do you want God to take away your freedom to choose? Let's deal with that for a moment. Do you want God to take away your free moral agency, your ability to choose between right and wrong? Let's, take, let's go back to the couple in the back seat of a car in the heat of passion, getting ready to make love. And out of that union comes an unwanted pregnancy. Do we really want God at that moment to intervene and stop us from doing that? Well, you know the answer as well as I do. The answer is, well, no, of course not. I want to do what I want to do. Uh, do you know? It's and and what about what about the smoker? What about the smoker? Do we really want? You know, when we get ready to light up an invisible breath of air to come out and put out the cigarette or put out the lighter or whatever, no matter what you got, whether you got a Zippo or not, it just won't. If a flame goes out every time I hold it up to my cigarette, yet do we want God to intervene? and stop us from killing ourselves. No, we, what we really want is to do what we really want to do. That's what we want. Is that really in the Bible? What you think is in the Bible is not.